everyone, I'm Shiling. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, that's me. Um, I'm going to share with you about UI testing today and UI testing is super duper important. It's really important because your users use your service using the user interface. Duh! So, if you have bugs on your users, you have minus minus users. And if you have less users, you make less money. So UI testing is really important, So, but UI testing is such a pain. This is what UI testing looks like today. So many devices, so many browsers, oh, headache. So we totally got to automate this, right? But automating UI testing is also a pain because this is what UI testing scripts looks like today. So let's take a popular JS library, nightmare.js, and spend a little bit of time looking at it. It's gonna take you a while to figure out what this does, right? It's just basically going to DuckDuckGo to find to search for Git uh, to search for nightmare.js. Uh, well, there's a lot of code smells in this. It has hard coded IDs. It has magic weights. It is really verbose and it really needs to be. So you know what? We can really make this uh, make testing a lot better. So I think this is what tests should really look like. I go to duckduckgo.com, I search JSConf Asia, I press the enter key, and then I see, hey, HTTPS 2018 JSConf Asia. This is short, this is readable, this has inherent meaning, it is decoupled from your UI, and it is maintainable. So, this is the way we are writing our test right now. Users, developers specify the objects to be tested up front. No, we shouldn't be doing that. Let's have the test engine determine the users to. What, uh, to determine the objects to test at runtime. So let's make testing great again. And this is what I'm working on. It's called UIlicious, and this is a, a pandan cake. So let's show you a quick demo. Okay, so uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So this is the test I've written on UIlicious for DuckDuckGo, and let's run it on Chrome. And it's gonna take a bit of time to set up the test. And you'll see the test running on the right side here with the screenshots. And it'll just tell you, hey, it works. You, I'm going to duckduckgo.com, enter JSConf Asia, press the enter key, and I see the result there. That's wonderful. But of course, this JSConf Asia, we gotta see in some JavaScript, right? So let's do something a little bit more complicated and try to buy some beer from Redmart. So I have a list here of uh, beer to buy, Chang beer and Tiger Lager beer. And the complicated thing about uh, Redmart.com is that uh, there are many buttons that are similar to each other on Redmart.com, such as the Add to Cart button. So if I want to say, uh, let's add the Chang Tiger beer to the case, uh, to the cart, I need to say, I see Chang Tiger beer, and then I add it to cart. And then when I want to add the Tiger beer, I Edit, I, I do a check to see the Tiger Beer is there first, then I add it to cut. So we can verify that this is working here. So let's go to the Chang Tiger Beer. I see it right here. Then I press add to cut. And there you go. We have added it to the cut. So at the end of the day, when you go to the cut page, ta da! We have both the Tiger Beer and the Chang Beer. So of course, we eat our own dog food. So if you really like the demo, you can sign up and give your delicious uh, a try for free. And you can uh, go to yalisos.com, click on sign up button, you see the create account, you put in your email, your, pass, your name, your password, and press the sign up button. And we really should add reCAPTCHA to the page. That's all.